Hi, I'm Susan Slendy, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about Hardanger. Hardanger is Norwegian stitchery, and um, it's a type of stitchery where you are counting. And the basic stitches that we ta have taught are the cluster blocks. And a cluster block is simply five stitches over four threads. And the thread that we use is, is a fine cotton. And we use uh, four, or excuse me, five, eight, and 12. And so uh, the thicker is the five. The cloth that we use is also um, generally a cotton or a linen. Uh, in Norway, this comes from Norway. It comes from the Hardanger district of Norway. And uh, it was a stitchery that was probably brought back by the Vikings from the Mediterranean area. And the Norwegian women generally would do white on white, or they would do the off-white on the off-white. And um, so as you're stitching, you're, you're counting always, and you, you count and you stitch before you start cutting. And these just are some of the pieces that I've done. This was my granddaughter's baptism dress. And you can see the cut work that uh, I think that uh, I've done. So it's, it's really just a matter of counting. And um, this is another piece, which is a belt pull. And um, as I say, the Norwegian women tended uh, to use the white on white. Um, European women, and I think American women, we probably have gone more into color um, to match our houses. This is a runner that is trimmed also in the hard hunger. Um, and the scissors? Oh, yes, of course. The most important thing that we have, and you never let anyone else touch your scissor because this, this is the most important thing. I learned a very good trick from a new teacher that I have. And if you take aluminum foil and you cut the aluminum foil, it sharpens your scissor. Here, I thought you had to take it to, to be sharpened, but you don't. Um, the, besides the thread, besides the needles and the scissor, the only other thing you need is a pattern. Now, these are patterns for bell poles, such as what I had made. And you simply start, these are cluster blocks, and you can see there are five stitches and they go over the four threads. You, you go over your loose thread so you're really working it into the fabric. Once you've got all the uh, threads sewn, then you very, very carefully will cut with the scissor against your tied edges, against your bound edges. And it's a fun thing. It's a really a fun um, thing to do. This is a piece that I'm working on right now. And you can see what the cloth is like when you're working on it. This is a pattern that I'm using, so it will end up looking like the pattern here.